Hello Aries, welcome. Welcome to Wolf Moon Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by. It's Sandra here. Um, I hope you're all doing well wherever you are on the planet. And um, this reading is going to look at your energies, Aries, between the 16th to the 22nd of November or thereabouts, and it could resonate a little bit for a few days beyond that also. Um, just to mention that um, it is this is the new moon weekend according to where you are um, on the globe I say so it could be tonight or early hours of the morning um, so you know quite powerful energies so um, I've already put some new moon readings out for you Aries so just you know you might find it interesting just to check those out um, as well on, on the Wolf Moon Tarot website all right, um, I've pre-shuffled the cards, so we'll just um, do a final shuffle. Now, um, first of all, I'm just going to take a card from the um, Tarot of, of, tarot of um, oh, jam, I forgot what it's called, bear with me, sorry, that's why I was calling it Tarot, it's not Tarot. Um, this is the Oracle of Visions, so I'm just going to take one card from this pack first of all from the Oracle of Visions. My mind went a blank then, um, Aries. So let's have a look. So to start your reading off we have um, number 27 and this is about attraction, magnetism and infatuation. All right, so we'll see what comes out for the rest of the reading, but um, this is a little bit of a starter, if you like. So something about um, attraction, being attracted and perhaps infatuated. And also it's about magnetism as well. So let's see where that's going. Okay, so a final shuffle of the Tarot of Dreams. And the Palace of Cups has just jumped out. So this is talking about a home environment um, where there's love, relationships, um, emotions, emotional energies around. So I'll just pop that back in. If it comes out again, that's absolutely fine. I'm not sure what the light is going to be like when this video. I mean, you know, it is early in the day, but it's very, very overcast and raining outside here um, in the UK. So... Um, hopefully the light's going to be all okay i might have to put the artificial light on soon but you know that's not ideal really so let's see where we are so at the center of your reading we've got um your energy or, or the situation and what you're thinking about um hidden influences or the root of the matter um past influences and then outcome or the future going forward and then um, a final message of guidance from the universe and at the bottom of the deck we have the king of wands so this is very much um, your energy an Aryan energy um, and the king of wands is um, very very passionate very energetic uh, very creative um, very much in control uh, of what he's doing um, often run their own business or they are they're very in you know they work very hard in the perhaps the creative department um, of an organization so um let's see where we're going with that now um just do a final shuffle of the light series tarot yes here comes the rain again I quite i do quite like the rain actually it's just for doing these video recordings it, it's not a very good light that's all but I, I do like the rain oh we need, we need the rain don't we so I'll just lay these on top in the same order and at the bottom of this deck I think I've done them all up done them upside down I'm not sure but at the bottom of this deck we've got the ace of cups um, and this is talking about um, when, there's a, when there's something happening, when there's a need to protect your heart, to look after your heart, or this is your energy um, of looking after your heart for some reason. It may be something new coming in, um, but um, yes, protecting your heart. So um, just put those to one side now. Now, at the heart of your reading... Um, 
Aries, we have the Hanging Man and the Strength card. And the Hanging Man is when there's nothing much happening at the moment. Things are stalemate, if you like. Um, and you have a, perhaps have a limited perspective on something. Um, and then the Clarifier is the Strength card. So this is talking about your inner strength. Um, and perhaps a need at this time, you know, to have that strength. It may be that you you need to draw on that strength for some reason. So we have the, the side of you that's very caring and nurturing, but th there's also the lion. You can bring the lion part of you forward uh, to roar if need be. Um, so this is very much about inner strength. So at this time when there's things are a little bit on standstill, a bit of a pause in action at the moment, um, this is about drawing on your on your inner strength, Aries. So what are you thinking about at the moment? Well, we have the moon card, and as I say, it is a, a new this is the new moon um, weekend. Um, so we have the moon you're thinking about something to do with the moon energy, perhaps, or um the moon in its truest, the moon card in tarot in its truest sense. It's a major arcana, it's a Piscean energy. Um, and this is about what's in the shadows, the, that which we know and that which we don't know. So, you know, things lurking in the shadows, if they're like, they're not, things, something not quite clear at this time. And I think that sort of links in with whatever this is, this limited perspective and things being on hold at the moment. Um, and the clarifier is the three of swords and and this is when we have heartbreak heart heartache um something sort of pulling at our heart tugging at our heart strings um as depicted here um quite clearly so um, what you're thinking about is something to do with your heart, something pulling your, your heart strings because there's a lot in the shadows at the moment that's not clear for you. I feel. Now remember it's a general reading Aries so this will have more meaning for some of you than, than perhaps for others so what doesn't resonate with you just let, let it go. Now the hidden influences we have the chariot and the ten of cups and the chariot this is when something is starting to um, move forward very quickly this is taking the reins um, because things are moving forward quickly um, when this particular deck, the chariot, we've got the horses and the chariot running through um, a wave of water. Um, and for me, the water to do with tarot is, is about the emotions. And of course, there's huge waves here, so quite turbulent water. Um, so I feel that this is, you know, you're taking the reins and things are going forward quite quickly, but you're charging through turbulent waters. Um, you know, it's quite an emotional um, situation uh, for some of you. And it's connected to a Ten of Cups, it's connected to a family situation. Because the Ten of Cups is, is about happy families, joy in the family, having everything you need within a family situation, security and stability. Um, but this is a clarifier, you see, so uh, the main energy is the chariot. So, you know, emotional turbulence, but taking the reins and charging through, um, you know, taking control. Um, uh, but it's to do with a, a family situation. So these are the hidden influences um, at the root of this situation. And the past influences are the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Swords. And the Knight of Wands, that this can in its truest sense represent moving home. Um, changing residence. Um, the nights are about action and movement and change and, and the ones are a very passionate, creative, um, energetic energy. Now, um, so we have a few layers to this card and these are past influences and so it could be one or a combination of those energies. So there could be, um, for some of you, something about um, having moved home move or moved residence, if you like. Um, but also, um, you see the knight is on uh, the fire-breathing dragon. And for me, this is about passion and, and trying to control a passion, a passionate energy. Trying to get a grip and take hold of whatever it is that um, is wanting its head 
um, to do with um, a passionate um, energy. And um, okay, I'm just the the um, hidden influences were the chariot charging through something, um, an emotional energy there. Um, to do with the family situation and so the past influences again it's about trying to hold hold on to a passion of some sort hold something back take control now the clarifier is the ace of swords and the ace of swords in this particular deck this is about acumen this is about light being shed on something but giving deep thought and trying to find um, clarity to do with the situation um, using your logic over your heart, really, um, to, to gain an understanding about something. Um, and it's something to do with um, either moving home, moving residence, or and um, trying to hold on to um, some form of a, a passion of some sort. Now, going forward... Going forward, um, we have the Four of Swords and the Three of Cups. And the th Four of Swords is when we have a break, take a rest. The soldier is, is here, having a rest from the battle, but he has his sword underneath him and his helmet just at the side there. So he's ready to jump up and go back into battle um, when need be. But at this time, um, is, is having a break. So he's regrouping his thoughts, um, building up his energies again. Um, so this is an energy for you going in the near future, going forward, Aries. A time of having a rest, but um, being prepared um, for action again going forward. Um, and then the clarifier is the Three of Cups. Now, the, for me, the Three of Cups has got different layers also. And one of the layers is about celebration, joy, celebrating um, something with family, friends, etc. Um, enjoying life, stepping out. Um, so, you know, this could be about having a break, having a rest from that sort of energy, from celebrating, having a good time, getting out and about. So, which is quite relevant with this, the COVID lockdown at the moment, um, particularly here, um, I know it's the same in, in different areas around the globe, but, you know, um, I know uh, there are countries that are more in lockdown on than, than others, for example. That's, I think that's what I'm trying to say. Um, so, um, so that's one possibility. Uh, the other is that the Three of Cups can talk about a third party situation, whether it's um, somebody coming in between a relationship um, whether it's a, um, a friend, a friendship coming in between a relationship or um, somebody having an affair, for example, but, that comes, interferes with a relationship. Um, the, the other aspects that it could be is a talking about um, if, some, if, if somebody has an addiction, uh, if there is an addiction that comes in between a relationship, um, a preoccupation or an obsession, for example. Sometimes it, it, it's an illness that can um, interfere, come in between. Uh, that it can be uh, judged as a, a third party situation uh, within a relationship because it interferes with um, the smooth running of the relationship, if you like, the closeness. Um, so uh, it'll, it'll perhaps mean something different um, for each one of you, Aries, um, but the overall energy is there um, of having a break from whatever this um, either celebrating or a third party situation is, um, but in, you know, being ready for action again, um, but at the moment, but going forward in the near future, just re regrouping your thoughts and, and your energies. And then guidance from the universe, we have the tower and the fall. So the tower is when um, a bolt of lightning is sent down from the universe to bring the tower down because the tower is crumbling it's on, and it's on faulty foundation. So um, for some of you, um, this will be relevant. So for some of you, um, this could be an act of love from the universe saying that something is no longer serving you, that something is not working, and it's going to clear it away. 
Um, nevertheless, it, it, it can come as, uh, as a shock and it could be something you hear or, and, you know, it could be something you find out um, that, that comes as um, a revelation, if you like, or, um, you know, makes you take stock and, and, and have to think about things that, because things are changing, perhaps. Um, so it's that sort of an energy. Um, and with the tower, this is something that um, when it comes in, it's perhaps not something you would have wished for, whatever this is. But in the future, looking back, you will understand why perhaps it was necessary to happen, to clear the way for you going forward. And I say that because the clarifier is the Fool. And the Fool energy is about new beginnings, taking a leap of faith um, as you go forward in, in a brand new beginning. And so, and, and these two perfectly fit together because after the tower moment, whatever it is, then that clears something old away that's not serving you any longer although it may not be welcome at the time, but it's going to clear it, ready for this new beginning that needs to come in for you, Aries. Now remember, it's a general reading, so it will resonate more with some of you that, than with others. Um, and I'm just drawn again to um, the need to protect your heart, to look after your heart, because without whatever it is that's coming in, um, the uh, King of Wands energy, which is about fire and passion, isn't it, and creativity. Um, and sometimes it is about sexual energy as well, just to put that, just to mention that. Um, and then, of course, we had um, the um, number 27, didn't we? Uh, which is about, um, in this deck, about attraction, magnetism and infatuation. All right, so if we look at those two together, um, you know, the one's energy is very much about passion, fire energy, action, um, so and magnetism. You see, you see, you just have to look at the colours um, around the King of Wands, very fiery colours. And remember, the past influences were the Knight of Wands, so part of that energy was about holding on, trying to hold on to, hold the dragon back, hold on to that passionate energy, you know, trying to um, think things through. Okay. All right, so very, very quickly, Aries, at the centre of your reading, we have the Hanging Man, which is things on hold at the moment to do with something, uh, having a limited perspective about something and, and drawing on your inner strength at this time. Um, and then thinking about something that's not clear at the moment to do with uh, a situation that um, is pulling at the strings of your heart. And then the hidden influences, we've got the chariot, which is taking the reins and charging through the waves of emotion to do with a family situation. And then the past influences, as we've already said, the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands. And then going forward, the five of the Four of Swords, having taken a break and regrouping your thoughts and energy and something to do with um, having a break from um, a Three of Cups energy, which we've talked about. Um, but then the guidance is it wants to let you know about a tower, um, this bolt of lightning that's going to be coming down, which... It's something necessary, ready for a new beginning, ready just to, to take a leap of faith. Right. I'm just going to draw um, another two cards from the Sacred Traveller. Could we have two more cards, please, for Aries, to round this reading up for the 16th to the 22nd of November. For Aries, please. So, um, first of all, we have view from above, get the big picture. And this is when, in the, the picture here is someone in a hot air balloon. And um, it's, it's only when you're up 
above the city or the village or whatever and look down you can see the village or the city in its entirety and get a better picture so it's something about um, needing to step back um, and step back from something to get a, um, a view of the bigger picture um, and remember at the heart of your reading you had the hangman which is about um, you know part of that energy is about having a limited perspective on something because things, things being on hold. So, you know, um, take a step back to see the bigger picture. And then um, the fellow traveler, traveler, so this is saying, you know, support is all around you. While you're on this journey, um, you've got lots of support. Support is all around you. Universal energies um, are supporting you. And I think if you look around, you perhaps got um, people around that are only too happy to support you on your on your journey going forward we have the peacock here which is a symbol of wealth we have the rainbow as well which is about blessings um so lovely energies there you know you take a step back to view the bigger picture now something you need to do because you're too close to the wood to be able to see too close to the wood to see the trees um, it's that sort of an energy, you're too enmeshed with something, so you just need to take a step back, perhaps have a bit of a break um, to get the bigger picture. Um, and remember that you've got lots of support around you, Aries. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Um, Aries, thank you so much for joining me, and um, I hope you can join me again in the future. So take care now, and bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.